welcome to the course of data analytics where we will try to talk to the data yep we'll try to make our data speak to us so this module is just about the introduction of this course and in this module we'll be talking about only two things importance of data analytics why you should learn data analytics and also we'll talk about why you should you should learn python in order to learn data analytics we'll also talk about roadmap of this course how we are going to proceed with this course but before that first thing first that is importance of data analytics i have collected a few statistics for you guys that says the demand of data analytics has increased 702 percent that is nearly four times since 2011 you know this 2011 was actually the boom of data science field when this universe was bombarded with a lot of data so now we know what to do with that data we need to talk to that data so this course is all about talking to the data and then LinkedIn says that they have listed this data analysis um, job as top 10 skills in 2020 22 that is amazing you know there are hundreds and thousands of skills around the globe and this one is amongst top 10 that's a good motivation the average salary of a data analyst is around $75,000 for the beginner for the beginner and the senior ones get a well above $100,000 as well Glassdoor says that and then 90% of markets 90% of markets and again Forbes is we are quoting the Forbes so this must be authentic so 90% of marketers they believe that data analytics is essential for understanding customer behavior and optimizing marketing strategy so if 90% of market thinks that data analytics is important then there are a lot of jobs in the market for a data analyst so I hope you guys are well pumped and well motivated in order to get in order to get started with with this course now second question is why we should learn data analytics with Python there are a lot of other tools to learn data analytics why Python so again we've got I mean statistics speaks louder than anything so we've got some statistics over here that says in data analytics domain right Python holds a significant majority share around that is around 65% that is way above than other programming languages like R and Julia and forgot about JavaScript or Ruby on Rails or C++ and these kind of languages again Kaggle says that then Python uh, boots uh, Python has you know a lot of libraries like pandas that helps us in data manipulation and analysis we have numpy in Python that helps us in numerical computation we have matplotlib and seaborn for data visualization and much more and you know what is the good thing we have covered all these libraries in this course then pandas let's talk about just one library pandas it has over 15 million downloads well maybe it's in a year no per month over 15 million downloads per month that's amazing and then um, over 200 Python has over 200,000 packages that are there to provide us support for data analytics some of them are pandas numpy matplotlib seaborn scipy and much more and overall they are 200,000 packages so python is rich for data analytics if you want to learn data analytics python is going to be the best source the best tool in order to learn data analytics right so let's get started with with data analytics so our major goal of this course is to learn different libraries of Python that help us in data analytics so when we talk about data analytics the best library of Python that comes into mind is none other than pandas pandas help us in a lot of purposes be it data filtering data manipulation data loading data saving uh, you know a lot of different different purposes so we'll, we'll be getting started with pandas we'll learn pandas and alongside by learning with pandas we'll also be learning data analytics as well then we'll be talking about numpy numpy is basically an abbreviation of numerical python numerical computing with python as the name suggests it helps us uh, working uh, it helps us uh, you know uh, in working 
it helps us working eff efficiently very efficiently with uh, with mathematical functions you know when we talk about data analytics which means that we have a lot of data we have huge amount of data so numpy actually helps us in writing efficient code that runs very fast with large amount of data right and it also provides us a lot of mathematical functionality as well then we'll talk about data visualization that is you can say one of the hottest category in data analytics and in order to learn data visualization we'll make use of two top libraries of python that are matplotlib and cporn so we'll try to learn how to plot how to draw different charts how to draw multiple charts how to draw interactive charts and much more then we'll also be learning learning about data preprocessing some of data preprocessing uh, steps we will learn inside these initial modules for example we'll be learning how to deal with missing values in the data in this pandas module and so on and so forth right so we'll be talking about how to deal with the outliers how to perform data normalization how to perform data encoding these these kind of a things in data pre-processing module so basically da data pre-processing means that when you put data into actual operations you basically pre-process your data before putting your data into actual operations so this is um, data pre-processing is that kind of a thing so we'll be performing we'll be learning actually data analytics by using all of these tools so get yourself very motivated and let's get started